Hey guys, so today I'm doing my products I regret buying video. I like watching these on YouTube just because everybody's so different and certain things that people regret buying other people love. So I like watching these videos, so I decided to make one. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the things that I really wish I didn't spend my money on. Okay, so the first one is this Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing Makeup Remover. And I hate this probably more than any of the things I hate. This is, how can I describe this without sounding psycho? Hmm. Hell on earth. What evil feels like. You get me. I hate this. I bought this because my sister had her wedding in Key West, so we all drove down there. And I forgot to bring makeup remover with me. So I saw that she had this on her sink and I used it and I liked how it took off my makeup. So I bought it and I noticed that this dries out my skin so bad, like, uh, how do I say this? When I use this, this leaves a film on my face. I will wash my face, I will rinse it and it leaves a film. It leaves like this nasty residue of like, my skin feels really flaky after I use this. I do have dry skin, but I've never had that experience with any face wash. It just it's so bad and my sister texted me a couple of days ago actually and she was like oh my god the Neutrogena Naturals thing burned my face my face is like red and I was like yeah that's the devil I hate that thing so the next thing are two mascaras and the first one is the Wet n Wild Mega Plump I kind of talked about this in my drugstore haul I hated this mascara so much and I really thought I would love it because Wet n Wild Mega Volume is my favorite drugstore mascara of all time. Like, I feel like it trumps all the other drugstore mascaras. I love it. So I thought, oh, Mega Plump, I might like that since this is also a volumizing mascara. And honestly, when I bought it, I had to like dig around the bottle to see if I could get any product out because I feel like there was nothing in here. It was really weird. And it did nothing. I felt like it was just wetting my eyelashes. Like if I got some water and just like, you know, uh, wet my eyelashes, that's exactly what this did. Horrible. Absolutely nothing. Ugh. The next mascara is a favorite amongst a lot of people and it is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. I'm pretty sure I hate this more than the Mega Plump, even though the Mega Plump did nothing. This didn't even try to lengthen my eyelashes. And I know that it's a volumizing mascara, so I mean it's not supposed to lengthen, but a lot of my mascaras that are volumizing at least lengthen a little bit this was so bad I felt like when I put this on my eyelashes my eyelashes were shorter than what they were before I put on mascara and I know that that's obviously not true but that's how much I feel like this just oh my god it's so bad it clumps really really bad and I like subtle clumping I'm a very I'm a subtle clumper lover okay I really do I like it but this is so bad it just like they look like little Fat, black, sticky, short. I hate that so much. Next on my list is this Pond's Dry Skin Cream. And it's rich, hydrating skin cream. During the day, apply alone or under makeup. Apply generously at night, massaging evenly over face and throat. And I thought, oh, dry skin cream. I have really dry skin. I would love this. I hate the way that this smells. I'm really weird about scents. I don't like really strong. This reminds me of my mom. Like I smell this and I think of my mom. My mom used to wear the, this cream at night. Like it was like a mask, a white face every night and she couldn't move her face. She was like, you know, it was like one of those hard masks and it smelled so much like old lady perfume. So much I hated when she would kiss me at night when I would go to sleep because that smell just lingered in my mind and in my nose for so long and it was traumatizing and that's what I smell but I smell this so strong and I can't imagine why anybody would put this all over their face because the smell is so bad not only that this is so greasy which I know it's for dry skin so it should be a little bit greasy but it was like overly greasy and super nasty my husband used this and it gave him a lot of pimples um, I don't know if he wanted me to say that but he used it and it gave him pimples. So I really, really don't like that. I'm gonna toss that as soon as I'm done recording this. The next thing breaks my heart a little bit because I am a huge MAC lipstick lover. And I kinda regret buying this, in a sense. 
I'll explain. This lipstick is called Plain Koi, and it just looks like this. And in the in the bottle, it's like the cutest color. This came out with a quite cute collection, and I bought every single lipstick with that collection. It was an amazing collection, one of my favorites. And it was really nice, and I saw swatches online, and I went and I immediately bought it. And then I put it on at the store, and I loved it at the store. But I don't know what's happened. This looks like chalk on my lips. Every time I put this on my lips, it's a crazy, crazy... Let me see if... You can, see, like, on my hand, it looks so pretty. On my lips, it looks like cake, like cake lips. You know, like those really ugly, cakey lips? Yeah, that's what I get when I get this, when I put this on. Um... Satins are my least favorite MAC lipsticks, so I mean, I guess, but I have to see if I can at least make this work, like put a lip gloss over it or put a lip gloss under it, do something, tap it, I don't know, because I would really hate to, like, toss this. Well, I mean, I would, I would just give this to my sister if I don't make it work, but it sucks. The next thing is this Jurgens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. This is like a tan, like a tanning lotion. You put it on and like a, it gives you like a gradual tan little by little daily. And um, this was really good. I did like this, but it made me a little bit orange. And that's probably my biggest fear with using a self tanner is looking orange. I, that freaks me out. I do not like to look orange, which I'm sure no one does. But anyway, it did make me a little orange. I have to admit, I didn't really like this. So. What I realized is if you're light skin and you want to self tan, don't get something that's for light skin. Get something that's for dark skin because that tends to give you like a bronze tan instead of an orange one. This is for fair to medium skin tones and I think that that's where I messed up in getting the one for fair skin tones. This is actually really, really good. I did like this. I just didn't like the fact that it made me orange. So it was a waste of money because I'm not going to use this. I might pick up the dark skin one because... I hear that that works better for light skin. The next thing I had mentioned in my Ulta haul, and I mentioned that I hated it immediately, and it's the NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil, and this is in Irish Coffee. And I had said that it broke, which it did, it broke immediately after I bought it, and I was like, that's it, that's all the product you get, because the tip just broke off, and I honestly thought that that was it. Someone commented like, I'm sure you can sharpen that. <laughs> and I was like, duh. Of course you can sharpen this. Why would it? Brain fart. Kathleen, get it together. So that is not why I don't like this product. It's the super repulsive smell. I can't get over how bad this smells. It smells like waxy, like really waxy, cheap makeup. And I wouldn't mind if it smelled like that, honestly, if as soon as I put it on my lips, the smell went away, like a lot of products. You know, like once you put it on your lips, you don't smell it anymore but this does not do that for example I hate mint I know that, that sounds really weird but I hate anything that's mint scented mint flavored I hate like I literally suffer every day when I brush my teeth I like, I like suffer I hate mint and these have a very 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 noticeable minty smell the Revlon Just Kissable Balm Stains they have a very very like I freaked out when I bought this and I opened it I was like oh my god mint but as soon as I put it on my lips, that smell goes away completely and it doesn't taste like mint. This tastes like wax. Like I know that I'm not going to sit there and try to eat my own lipstick, but it happens. You can't control it. You taste some of it and oh my god, this tastes like ugh. The next thing is a, also a favorite amongst a lot of people. I feel like no one dislikes this and it's the L'Oreal Elnet Satin Hairspray. It's like the famous Elnet Hairspray. I got the little baby at Walgreens because I rarely ever wear hairspray and so I figured the little one would last a long time and it, it has and unfortunately I got the one that is scented I should have got the one that was unscented but I didn't realize that when I went to go pick up when I went to go pick this up the smell is so overpowering and it's not a bad smell it's just it smells like regular hairspray but it lingers the entire day like I will put this I will just you know hairspray my hair and at nighttime I still smell like hair I still smell like hairspray and I feel like it doesn't really hold see like I put some hairspray on before I filmed this because this is the only hairspray I own my head smells like this right now that's that's all that that's all that lingers right here is this hairspray smell that, that's all I smell and I feel like it doesn't do a great job at you know at being a hairspray I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone I know that a lot of people love this but I personally don't 
I just have one more thing to share with you guys and it's probably what breaks my heart the most because I loved this for so long. And it is the MAC Face and Body Foundation. Oh my god, just holding it breaks my heart. <laughs> this was my holy grail foundation when I bought it. I bought this and I was like, finally, I found a foundation that works for me. Um, really, what I care about is just evening out my skin tone and not looking cakey. That's my problem because my skin is so dry that I look cakey with tinted moisturizer on. Like, it needs to be a very thin tinted moisturizer. I'm exaggerating. I could, I could get away with tinted moisturizer. So I really, really loved this. It just evened out my skin tone and gave me like a nice dewy glow. It was amazing. Then, one day I'm sitting at my mom's house and my sister's like, oh my God, you have a lot of little pimples like on your forehead. I was like, I know, I have no idea what the hell I'm getting. I don't know, I don't know why I'm getting that. But I didn't know what it was. So I just let it go and I kept, I kept using this. And, I didn't think that it was this because I, whenever I use this, I wash my face before I go to sleep. Like I always, I never slept in this. So at that time, Danny was coming back from deployment and I was staying in Miami um, with my family while he was on deployment. So he came back, I left Miami and I came back here. And for a good month, I didn't wear makeup because we were just unpacking everything and finding a new apartment and it was just so hectic that literally all I did for like a month was put on mascara and my skin completely cleared up and I was like oh no it was my foundation and it broke my heart because I love this I know MAC face um I know Makeup Forever makes a face and body so if you guys have tried it please let me know if it's good I really, really want to try that out because I love the whole face and body foundation thing. Those were all the products that I regret buying in a sense. Um, I hate that I spent the money on them because they just didn't work for me. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Follow me on Instagram at Kathleen Lights. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.